Hey, trucked up guys and gals, if we were to listen to the FUD chuckers <laughs> and believe all the clickbait about EV trucks, we'd come to the conclusion that the sky is falling, that they're done, all over, out of business, and into the dustbin of history. Just another failed automotive experiment that the future is in hybrids and pure EV trucks are a no-go for most truck owners because they just can't deliver the goods. Well, guess what, folks? According to Ford CEO Jim Farley and the chairman of the board, Bill Ford, the opposite is well underway. Not only are they doubling down, but going all in on their flagship F-150 Lightning and its successor. So strap yourself in, my trucked up friends, because this will be one heck of an eye-opening ride. You love trucks, all trucks. You haul and tow, snow wheel and off-road, take the kiddies to softball practice, and your sweetie to lover's lookout. Ooh. This channel is all about how the truck is changing, but not the lifestyle. We're loaded up, kitted out, and ready to roam. That's a fact. But are we ready for the future? Welcome to Trucked Up EVs. Jim Farley really delivered some amazing whoppers at the NBC News hosted Aspen Ideas Festival where his open, honest, and really candid responses as well as an impressive Q&A session with the audience might have stunned quite a lot of people with the direction he's taking forward regarding electrification. There is no doubt after this interview what the intention of Ford as a company is going forward. The company is doubling down and acknowledging the massive growth in EVs in China and the groundbreaking and revolutionary work of Elon Musk in really moving the needle on a global scale. Following up to an op-ed piece he posted on LinkedIn, I'll provide a link in the description below. Farley talked about how he, as a die-hard 50-year total petrol head, surprised himself when he fell in love with electric vehicles. And for none of the reasons people typically expect, Farley had this to say. It wasn't government policies or political beliefs that sparked this late career romance with electric vehicles. It's because I drive one, my Ford F-150 Lightning Platinum. It is astonishingly quiet and smooth, the effortless acceleration leaves you with a silly grin once you get the feeling back in your face. Every morning, mine is topped up with 300 miles of range, no gas stations ever. What's more, my F-150 Lightning has a massive lockable frunk to go along with the pickup bed, and the Lightning works like a mobile generator that can power a worksite, a campsite, a tailgate, or even another electric vehicle. Even power my house. In the interview, Farley went further. It's amazing. We have modems in all of our vehicles. When you actually look how Americans drive, which we have the longest spaces, only the average American only takes less than four trips more than 150 miles. And he's talking about all vehicles and over an entire year, including trucks. Farley then points out the normal max range, even on a cold day for an EV manufactured today, is about 300 miles. So 95% of North Americans will not only have zero problems with owning an electric vehicle, they will rarely ever use a DC fast charger outside of charging at their home. And that's an option that is exponentially cheaper than gasoline. Regarding the price of EVs, they've fallen by a whopping 22% in the past two years, making them on par in almost every segment with internal combustion engine vehicles. Now, he did acknowledge that Ford is initially losing lots of money on pure EVs, but like any new technology, the investment and conversion to that new direction, always, it's a painful transition, period. Take everything that's happened with computers, cell phones, telecommunications of any sort, you're going to have losers and winners, and you're going to have a huge painful transition to keep up. He calls it the price of innovating, and Ford 
is increasing, not decreasing, their advancement into the EV space. Hybrid sales are up. It's mentioned several times in the video. Hybrids are the stopgap that will help legacy automakers get there because they make a great profit on them. Hybrids have become more popular. Our hybrid business is up 40% this year. And the pricing power is more than the cost of both powertrains. That means we make more money on a hybrid than on internal combustion F-150 now. But the pure EV investment is the most important, according to Farley. But he likes that consumers have choice. He talked about Ford's own version of Skunk Works, a secret R&D division that runs autonomously and carries the mandate to drive the EV future and surpass the competitive forces being exerted by China and other massive EV manufacturing sectors, ones that are ramping up so much faster than here. His most prominent statement in the whole interview was this. If we don't make this EV transition, Ford's not going to make it. That's how important this is for our country. A shocking number came out of the interview that with the Ford F-150 being the best-selling vehicle for the past 47 years in the United States, total revenues are only second to the iPhone, with the company making an F-150 truck every 40 seconds. Ford is planning to expand its dedication to the F-150 Lightning, which makes it a huge gamble for the company by toying with its flagship, but that gamble is already paying off. Ford is a huge commercial vehicle manufacturer. This is a lot of information people aren't aware of for Ford's bottom line. Their company and fleet sector is gobbling up the e-transit vans and the trucks because it makes incredible sense economically for small and large businesses alike. 25% of all those F-150 sales, 1 million of them last year, are already hybrid. And the biggest feature for many of those companies is exportable power. This is where the Lightning outdoes all F-150s and business folk are taking note. Lightning sales have already grown by 100% year over year. But the FUD chuckers would jump in here and say, Sure, but 100% from zero means squat, moron. However, that is the furthest pile of crap from the truth. And every fact checker knows it. In 2022, the first ramp year for the Lightning, so partial sales here, Ford sold 15,617 units. An impressive start. In 2023, that ballooned to just under 25,000. To date in 2024, Ford has already surpassed the entire 2023 volume. If we look at EV truck sales overall in 2024 to date, we can make some pretty good estimates based on the most recent product-wide Cybertruck total recall. Total recall. That sounds kind of like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I'll be back. It's not a hammer. Tesla has already moved 12,000 units of the Cybertruck and that's while it's still in the early ramp-up stage. Ford, as we just mentioned, is at 25,000 or more. Rivian R1T sales are estimated at around 7,000 units by the end of June. Chevy Silverado is in the range of 3,000. And that's just in fleet sales before the retail launch has even started, including the yet-to-be-released first edition RST. That puts EV truck sales, excluding the Hama, closing in on 50,000 units for just the first half of 2024. And all are reporting an increase, not a decrease, in demand. That means EV trucks are well on their way to surpassing 100,000 unit sales in North America for 2024. That's a massive percentage of overall truck sales. Being we're in the first of nine innings of EV truck ramps and product introductions globally. And that doesn't include any of the hybrid sales by all the automakers. Jim Farley knows it. The indication of hybrid is a good indication that 
electrification will go faster because even the most traditional truck customers are buying hybrid. They're interested in electrification. When asked how long it will take manufacturers overall to produce profitable EVs without any subsidies, Farley cited a time period maximum of five years with the next generation EVs hitting the streets in 2025, including the T3 truck project. And then he had this to say on the China factor. All the trillions of profitability that were, were taken out of China by the Western OEMs, they were busy thinking about their industry strategically, and they bet on electrification about 10 years ago. And now they make 70% of all electric vehicles in the world. So we as a company face a kind of ultimate fitness test. And that is exactly what Ford is stepping up to do. And the even more secretive successor to the Lightning is less than two years away. This is one freaking fascinating interview. And I encourage everyone to check it out whatever your thoughts are on EV trucks. The link is in the description below. I am equally excited to announce that I hope to get the opportunity to discuss these exciting EV truck times with you in person as I go on my first meet and greet trucked up stop tour in British Columbia. I will be posting locations and times both through the community page and in an upcoming video along with on my Facebook page. So if you are in British Columbia, Make sure to subscribe and see when we might be in your area. And that's not all. This cross BC adventure trip in the standard range F-150 Lightning is part of something bigger, en route to an exciting one-of-a-kind moment in EV truck development in this country. And that is to provide you an exclusive inside view into a Canadian first, a reveal that you won't want to miss. So stay tuned for that in the coming weeks. As always, my amazing trucked up folk, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.